Hi, I'm, I'm John Bramblett. Um, I'm an artist, and this is my dog, Eka. She's a black lab, and she comes from a breeding program that they've bred for like 30, 40 years for guide dogs. She's my best friend, you know, and um, I'm spending so much time with her, and she's a brilliant pooch. And with the guide dogs, they, they come with a name, and for every litter, it has a letter for that litter. So I've had her five years, and so they've, they've gone through the al alphabet, and they're all the way back around to the E litter again now. She helps me do, do a lot of things, and that's, and that's one of the reasons why it's, it's good to ask before you pet the guide dog, because sometimes it doesn't look like they're very busy when they're actually doing a whole lot of different things. For a guide dog, they're trained for two years, and they start when they're puppies. The first year is a lot of play, and they're just taken out to, to, to different places. They, they, they usually live with a family. And for the next year, it's all more intensive training, but for the guide dogs, it's a lot of fun because they, because they like to try to figure things out. If she ever got a report card, I think it'd have straight A's on it. She's one of the first guide dogs in the country to learn the difference between a men's bathroom and a ladies' bathroom. Through smell, it's, it's almost like a bum-finding dog, but instead of bum, she finds bathrooms. And... I don't know. I know. I know. I know that she knows when I get frustrated with my work, because I'll sign. She'll sign. That's something I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pay more more attention to. But I know when I get happy, she'll come over and she's happy too, and she'll wag her her tail. She's a part of my family, and. Um, so if I do a painting my wife or my son or Echo or anybody in my family, it, it's interesting because it, it, it changes over time. I, I've done three portraits of her, and every portrait is it's different. You know, she looks the same, but the paintings are very different. The, the colors, the, the emotion in the paintings. We, we have so many experiences together that that tends to find itself in the artwork. So whenever I approach her doing art, it's like, it's like I'm approaching a family member. She, she's just crazy. She runs, she jumps, she stands on her head. Whenever we're home and, and or any, any time she goes off duty, um, she's just a regular pet dog. You know, she, she's just our, our family dog. And I've had friends come over that haven't seen her at, at, you know, at, at the house when she's off duty. They, they thought I had two, two dogs. They thought I had Echo and this strange other dog, and they were wondering where the strange dog came from. But if she even thinks you're about to leave the house or going to work, she, she, she turns into this dog. As much as she loves to play, she loves to work. She loves to hit tennis balls, and in some schools for the blind, they'll, they'll have tennis balls on the bottom of chairs to help them slide, and she loves those. So whenever we walk into a room with tennis balls all over the chairs, that's sort of a quirk for her, because she doesn't she doesn't normally go off and want to sniff something or get excited by the bottom of the chair, but uh, we, we've learned that's, that's, that's a distraction for her. Not a big one. You just say, hey, Echo, leave it, and she'll leave it. It's the amazing things that she does. She doesn't do anything. Or, or a ball, if somebody throws a ball, she doesn't go after it. Most she'll ever do is, 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 is turn her head a little bit. And, and a lot of times that's, that's how I know there's something over there, or a dog, because you can feel in the harness when her head turns. I think she's actually taught, taught me quite a bit about how to just sort of, sort of go, go through life <laughs> with, a, with a calm sort of attitude.